That's the first I've heard of it. Tosaka Rin doesn't do any club activities for her personal reasons. I thought she went straight home since she wouldn't turn down the recommendation to join the student council. Which is why I'd show him this place that, no, you aren't high up there. You are on this little ground floor and you will never rise above this ground floor. I will always be around to put you back in your place. Mitsuzuri says some dangerous things. Come to think of it, I heard that Tosaka has many enemies. Could Mitsuzuri be one of them? Do not say that's going too far. Yeah, Farine's over there, I'll come visit. Mitsuzuri hurries off. But I like that part of her. Feeling calmer now, I head for the classroom. It's lunchtime. Our school has a splendid cafeteria and most students eat there. It was... Tomorrow is when shit hits the fan. And, uh... Shit, ha yeah, shit hits the fan. I'm trying to remember, like, the schedule of things. Because this is when Reen skips school. It's lunchtime. Our school has a splendid cafeteria. Most students eat there, but there are some old-fashioned students who bring their own lunches. Two of them happen to be me and the student council president in front of me. Emiya, you can't eat one of those things. There are a lot of meat in the kitchen. Oh no, this is my fried chicken. Well, but... Why are you so nice to your kitchen? Why do you have to eat a lot of meat in the kitchen? Yes, he's gonna bring alcohol. なにを時代錯誤なことを、これは単に親父殿の趣味だ。小坊主に食わす贅沢はない。悔しいのなら己で何とかせよなどという。いっそ今からでも天蔵になるか。俺も考えどころだ。The circus. あ、あのじいさんなら確かに。Issei's father is the priest of the Ryudo Temple, and a bold guy, a bold guy who's a old friends with the old man at Fuji's place. You can't expect a normal personality when he's friends with a guy like that. Oh no, this is my fucking fried chicken. You picked the wrong day. I hand him my lunchbox. What? Issei bows deeply. How can I put this? I never know what to say when things like this remind me that he's the son of a priest. Ah, so Yeah, I saw a bunch of cops. I didn't know the fuck's going on. I decided to be a loser and not actually look what the hell was going on. You did not forget about that. The intersection this morning, he must mean the clamor with all the police cars. なんでもな。殺人があったそうだ。詳細は知らないが、一家4人中助かったのは子供だけらしい。両親と姉は刺殺されたというが、その凶器が包丁やナイフではなく、長物だというのが普通じゃない。Oh shit. Could it be Lancer then? A long weapon, he must mean something like a sword. But it's not a sword, it's probably a Lancer's spear. To get stronger. It was a murder. So that must mean the sister and the parents were killed. Damn it. Could have talked to that sister. I picture it. Someone barging in during the night. Unjust violence, a one-sided pillage like an accident. Slashed a parent, the sister killed without even knowing what's going on. To the side, the child covered in their blood. Why didn't they just kill the child? That's actually more fucked up you didn't kill the child. Because leaving the child alone by themselves after witnessing their entire family being murdered at the night or early morning cannot be good for them psychologically. It damaged them for life. It's better to kill them 
I mean, it's really fucked up. You shouldn't kill anyone in the first place, but if you're going to, might as well just finish the job. どうしたエミア。喉に飯でも詰まったか。うん。別に。何もないけど、なんだよ、いきな。いや。エミアが厳しい顔をしていたのでな。少し驚いた。すまん。食事時の話ではなかったら。yeah, usually that. What kind of expression am I supposed to have when someone's family was slaughtered? Of course, I'm gonna have a nasty expression. We just talked about triple murder <laughs> with a long weapon that's most likely not a knife and just a butchering of three people. Of course, I'm gonna have a nasty expression. The fuck? Why wouldn't I? Issei tries to soften the air apologetically. I was fine with the topic, but was I really making such a nasty face? And then there's a quiet knock at the door. Reen, who, who isn't here? Uh, no. Uh, uh, hi. You're still haunting to look at. Issei addresses Kazuki, who, enter who just entered. It must be a simple talk about the student council as Issei seems pretty relaxed. <sighs> That's not something you see every day. Despite his appearance, he says very shy. The guy who draws a line against his classmates and even his teachers is letting his guard down with Kazuki. <laughs> they seem like two peas in a pod. Kazuki Shuchichiru. Sure. The teacher in charge of class 2A is serious and stubborn. I'll just call him Kazuki. Probably the, uh, that aspects help him get along with Issei, who prizes order and discipline. The two continue the talk. All the while, I can't get the story, story of the murder out of my head. Class is in, and it's time to go home. I cannot go anywhere else as I have worked today. I should leave school and go straight to the neighborhood, neighboring town, but... I'm worried about the conversation I had this morning, so I've made my way to the archery club before I knew it. Because I have to go kick his ass real quick. <sighs> hey Shinji, can I talk to you behind the school real quick? Yeah, it, I swear to god, it'll be like two minutes. And I break his fucking hands. According to Mitsuzuri, Tosakarin comes here often. I really want to see her. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I really don't care about that, but I know that Shinji getting angry at her is going to be a problem. Good thing she skipped school today. It's bad if Shinji gets violent just before because she turned him down. I don't know why it's bad, it's just bad. Tosaka isn't around. Mitsuzuri's worries were needless. Hey, uh, damn it. Oh, no, just you. And there's Issei, whom I just left behind. I'm just looking for someone. Don't worry about him. Yes, I was going to rob it. Go away. Not important. なんでも昨日真治と一文着あったらしいんだ。それで一応様子を見に来ただけだ。ほうほう。共同不審だな。聞かれてもいないのに理由まで話すなど。俺は誰がいないかと聞いただけなのだが。オッケー、ナスナット
あいつが風邪など引くものか俺が見たところあいつは悪いやつだ外見に騙されるとパクッと食われるぞエミア I will be gladly eaten up That is a That's the death I choose Wow There's worse ways to die Somehow you say his words annoy me. She's not that bad. The worst, the worst that could happen is she turns me down. That is the worst that could happen. The worst thing she could do is tell me no. She did worse to what's his face because he's an asshole. But she wouldn't do that to me. I'm too persistent. It's true that I don't know her, but I can't imagine that she's a bad person. Of course not. <laughs> Well, so she did, you know, save someone, so. No, I, I'm pretty sure the person she saved is going to is Shiro. Because she talked, you know, Sakura. She mentioned her, which she seems to. Sakura's pretty close with Shiro, so I assume it's him. And no, she wouldn't save Shinji. She would be like, oh, it fucking sucks to be you, buddy. Probably laugh a little. But yeah, she, she definitely is not a bad person. Hmm? What? Of course. Ah, that's not fair. I'm not going to take it. Who the hell wouldn't be after her? I mean, sure, I have already have a, a girl that cooks for me and cleans for me. Yeah, that's on lock. That's my, that's my plan B. Plan A is going after Miss Perfect over there. Plan B is Sakura. She is a nice backup and substitute. Horrible to say. It really, really is. But I don't have that much in common with Sakura. We both cook. That's about it. We have I have much more in common with Tosaka. At least personality wise, so I'd rather deal with her. Easier to deal with her because I know how to deal with myself. So I equally know how to deal with her. After Tosaka, who said who said anything like that? Oh, come on, dude. We all know. Who wouldn't be? Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. I'm sure. Bad taste. Are you saying my shit is taste? I do not have shit taste. You, sir! I will fight you. Get the hell out of here. You have shit taste. And plus, actually, it, it is re rewarded if I save her from being assaulted by Shinji. Because then, in, in that instance, I'm quote unquote the hero in her eyes, and it works out in the end for me. If you pursue it correctly, that is. If it gives me the options, I'd pursue it correctly. Hmm? Yeah, it's not shit taste. So, Your shit taste. That's because she doesn't go out with anyone. She doesn't talk to anyone. She's too perfect, is your answer? あれは目ぎつねだ。尿症だ。妖怪だ。とにかく生理的に気に食わない。悪いことは言わないから。エミアも気に入らないようにしろ。she ends up coming out of literally nowhere. Ah, shit. Ah, no wonder I feel someone's eyes are from the archery dojo. Thank God. I'm so glad Tosaka is absent today. <laughs><笑> That's fine. You can be on your guard. I'm not. 
Still don't know why they keep calling her a fox, though. And I think the term schoolgirl is discrimination. I mean, it is also uh, accurate. Word, she is technically a schoolgirl, though I don't know if they're using it in a different connotation. They probably are. I wouldn't say she's a monster. Cuts. Issei laughs. I have no idea what that is. He must feel restrained now that he's said everything he wanted, as he leaves calmly. I know him for... I've known him for two years, but I still don't understand his personality. Twenty minutes after taking the bus from my school, I arrive at the neighboring town of Shinto across the bridge. Oh, for work. Miyama City is a residential district, so there's no part-time jobs there, but the developing Shinto has many available. The school approves of students having part-time jobs, so I work a few easy ones. I prefer hard physical labor that ends as quickly as possible. It's killing two birds with one stone, as it builds my body while I get paid for it. It also left, led you to getting that scar. Today's job is a simple loading job from 5 to 8. Even though there's only 3 hours, there's still uh, there's 6 hours worth of work to do. They make you run around without a minute's rest. So I should rest when I can, even if it's just for 10 minutes. It's a waste of energy walking around on, until my job, so I guess I'll rest at the park. This park among the buildings is like a big field. A park should be filled with people like families and lovers on weekdays. Or weekends, but it's empty here now. No, this place is always desolate. I'm a bit sad. The utterly neglected ground looks awful compared to the neatly organized surroundings. The desolate area makes the wind feel cold. This the remains of the conflagration ten years ago. And this is the place where I was saved from burning to death. It's a large area, so if they retailed, uh, retiled it, the park would be would get bigger. Thinking absentmindedly, I sit down on a bench. I stare at the burned land uh, to pass the time. I don't remember what happened here back then. All I can remember is that it was hot and I couldn't breathe. And that people died trying to save others. For example, an adult that tried to save a child from a burning house, he saved the child but died in its place. For example, there were people who had their throats burned, but they gave what little water they had to one guy and the others died. For example, there was someone who ran alone who to get a, to get away from the fire as fast as possible, and everyone he passed on the way died. And for example, people who died because they gave away something that was saving them, only to save others they didn't even know. I didn't like things like that. It makes me mad that those who tried hard were sacrificed. Am I agree to want an ending where everyone is safe and happy? It's unrealistic. All I wanted to see wanted to see people relax peacefully, so why couldn't I manage such a simple thing? Because you're not God. Hiritsugu answered so to the question I asked as a child. Of course, as a child, I denied it. Because Kiritsugu saved me, I knew he was a sorcerer who could do anything. I knew he was a superhero who couldn't ignore people in need. Who saved them for no, from no, ben for no benefit. So I believed Kiritsugu uh, could have saved everyone back then. When I told him that he made a troubled expression, and then said something that I remember to this day. Shiro. Kiritsugu 
I mean, it's impossible to save everyone. It just is. I understand that. It's obvious now that he said it. Let's say there's a robber and some hostages, and the robber intends to kill the hostages. With normal methods, most of the hostages will be killed. Even if you use a miraculous method to save the hostages, there will still be one person who isn't saved. That, of course, is the robber whose hostages were rescued. The people a superhero saves are, are only those he decides to save. That's why even God cannot save everyone. The fire ten years ago was like that. It's not something I, who was miraculously saved from it, can talk about now. I don't want such a thing. I don't want help that has a limited capacity. You have to help no matter how impossible it is. I can't stand to have strangers dying around me like back then. So if I had been there 10 years ago, even if it was impossible, I would have gone into the fire end. That's for certain. Jeez, I'm hopeless. The 5 o'clock bell rings. I stand up quickly and make my way to work. When my job's done, the sun is already set. It's a bit before 8. I finished 10 minutes early because I work too hard. It seems I work frantically since I went to that place before work. Here in front of the station, the night's just getting started. There are lots of people in a constant flow of cars on the road. I walk while I looked at, up at the lighted building. It's the biggest building in Shinto, so I can't see the top clearly. I just gaze up at the building, just enjoying the night scenery. When I think I see something out of place. I stop and stare at the rooftop. I focus my eyes looking at the thing as small as a grain of rice. Hey, Tosaka, how's it going? Looking good up there. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Want to explain why you're on a roof? It looks like someone I know. Why is she there? What would she be doing there? With her long hair fluttering and doing nothing, she looks down at the town. It doesn't seem like she notices me down here. Oh my god. It's literally the same between each other. No, there's no way she could see me. She's so high up that I, with better eyesight than most, can barely see her by improving my vision with magical energy. Wow, it's like she's gonna do the exact same thing. I can recognize her since she's standing there alone, but there's no way she would notice me down here among all these people. What would you do if she did? She's just looking down at the town. Maybe she's looking for something as I can feel a sharp stare even down here. I forget about time and keep looking up at the girl standing in the sky. She's on top of a tall tower. She's like a witch looking down at the war earth with the noon behi moon behind her. And then? She must be done with whatever she was doing and she just uh, she disappears. Her figure has disappeared and the scene returns to the beautiful view of the night. Yeah, I don't know any other girls that wear a red jacket that have bluish eyes and long hair like that that I've seen so far. I have no proof, but I think I'm right. There are many girls with uh, looks that stand out that much, and more than that, I'm not stupid enough to mistake a girl I secretly admire. Maybe you should stop secretly admiring her and actually just walk up to her and talk to her. Ah, uh, young love. <sighs> young love is so beautiful. I just fucking talk to her. Ugh. Well, it's... Tosaka sure has strange hobbies. <laughs> like going up and just uh, standing on top of a roof. Of a skyscraper. Because why not? Unlike Shinto, there's no one in Miyama City. After 8 o'clock, there are no people around and the town is terribly quiet. Yeah, that's because someone with three people were just murdered. At the junction of the house I saw this morning, there's no sign of people and the door has a do not enter sign. 
After only one day, the house is as quiet as an abandoned building. That's because everyone inside died. Except one. Parents and older sister killed by the burglar. What kind of life remains for the child left behind? A fucking awful one. I bite my lip, feeling powerless. Even after swearing to become like Kiritsugu, I couldn't do anything. I can't do anything about something that happened so close by. You can't know of everything happening, though. Even though I want to help someone in the end, I don't even know what I can do. You would not have been any help. You do not have any weapons that can kill someone. I climb the hill and reach the Emiya house. And you also don't have foreknowledge of future events that could happen, possibly. The lights are still on, so Sakura and Fuji must still be there. Ah, uh, darn. You made Sakura walk home alone? Oh, she's gonna be stabbed. Oh, wait, no, she was accosted by the foreigner. Fuji turns around, munching on a rice cracker. The TV shows a loud vari uh, variety show. That's not why you told me to come home early. Her brother probably had a curfew on her. Sakura chan nara haya me ni kaette wa yo. Kyo wa yoji ga aru kara te ban gohan dake tsukutte kurete no. Yeah, Shinji's probably gonna beat her again. Because I didn't teach him a lesson yet. Fuji says so happily. As far as she's concerned, anyone who cooks for her is a good person. Oh, so ka. Tashka ni shibaraku wa sono hou ga ii ka mo shire nai na. あ、最近は物騒だし、急いで晩飯は俺が作ろうか。え、反対。白を帰ってくるの遅いじゃない。それからご飯作ってたら食べるの10時過ぎになっちゃうよ。I can Honestly, I'm not sure if that makes me happy or <laughs> Fuji has a terrible habit of leaving junk in my place. Lawrence pulls from restaurants a heavy teapot she got in the shopping district, a strange guitar that plays by itself. I think she thinks this is some kind of place, some place is some kind of store, warehouse. Fuji hands me the poster. It's probably some infamous idol or something. Here we have a military style guy with thumbs up on a cheap looking blue, uh, blue sky background. In letters like blood, it reads, Love's lovely ranger land. Okay, no. Uh, this is going to the trash. Please join the self-defense force. Oh my god, this is a... Hold on, this is an army recruit recruiting post. I was gonna say, this fucking propaganda? What? I'm throwing this away. There's probably millions of these. I roll up the poster and hit Fuji with it. <laughs> Bud. Fuji deflects my attack with the poster she had hidden and counter attacks mercilessly. Bam. The poster lightly knocks my. Oh my god, she put concrete in it. What the fuck? Stars, I see. I saw stars. It was actually a police baton, and it wasn't actually a poster. Ah, Jesus, I think you cracked my skull. Ah, Jesus, what's wrong with you? Could this be the skill of a master? 
ちのポスター初回得点版なんで豪華鉄板仕様だった Steel plate oh god シロ Let's go. 頭大丈夫 No I think, I think it's cracked Oh my god I think I'm brain damaged now Oh god Ah、uh, Why Why God damn it Why Fujini <laughs> いつか絶対に人を殺すぞその性格 I wasn't wrong in saying it was just a police baton at that point <笑>その時はシローがお嫁にもらってくれるから安心かな<笑>全速でお断りですそんな天然殺人鬼を相方にもらう気はないやいうん私そんな物騒なのじゃないと思う You could have killed me やっぱりエーテしてそういう連中は自覚がないっていうのは本当だったのか How true, how true I'll have to watch out or I'll be killed ふんだ、言ってなさいそんなことよりしろ私お腹減った今まで待ってたんだから早くご飯の用意しよう Fuji stands up How strange, Fuji is helping out even if it's only setting up the dishes She must be really hungry 